Hello you, welcome to Geekism. I work with something a little bit different today. Uh, it's kind of a sort of mini vlog, mini announcement sort of thing. I'm going to call it vlog part one because I'm going to be doing a few of these over the next month or two. Most of you will probably know because I have mentioned it in videos, I've mentioned it on social media and stuff, but I wanted to kind of do a sort of official thing to sort of uh, get this wheel in motion. And uh, for those of you who don't know, for whatever reason, you might be new or you may not pay attention to videos, um, in a month exactly today, when this is being recorded, this will go out a few days later, so a little less than a month now, uh, myself, my wife, our son, and our two cats, and everything we own, our life savings and our hopes and dreams are flying across the Atlantic to emigrate to Canada. I've even got a map, but I've just realised it's going to be blurry because of the depth of field. But we're going from this blurry green blob all the way over this blue blob to this much bigger green blob in fact we're going all the way over to here on the green blob to a place called london actually <laughs> i couldn't move too far from britain i guess um yeah place called london, not too far from toronto and, uh, and yeah, we moved there in about a month. Uh, a lot of people ask me why I'm moving, and I don't want to go massively into too, too many details here because unfortunately it's a little bit negative. Personally, I'm not really happy with how Britain is going right now. Um, and it isn't necessarily a Brexit thing, because uh, we actually originally applied years before Brexit. It took us about four years for this. But um, just the sort of uh, the feel, the vibe of Britain isn't really it's jarring a little bit with how I think a country should feel and we've obviously visited Canada quite a few times and we love the place and uh, we find that the, uh, the the setup over there is a lot more suited to how we feel it should be and uh, and don't get me wrong I don't think Canada is this you know sort of amazing magical wonderland where uh, you know every both sides of the aisle all kiss and hold hands and stuff but um, we have a really really awful sort of partisan political structure here in the UK at the moment that um, that is a little softer in Canada but also if I'm totally honest with you you get a little bit more bang for your buck especially when it comes to things like property and stuff uh, your money goes a lot further um, and I'm hoping it can just provide a better quality of life for my son now don't get me wrong I had a pretty good upbringing my parents did everything they could for me and I'm incredibly grateful but um, if I can sort of instill the same values that they instilled in me into Xander um, hard work, uh, forgiveness, um, patience. If I can give him all of those, but also a pool in the back garden, then I'm going to go for it. <laughs> but other than that, it's going to be a great move. Hopefully, we're pretty much all packed now. We're going to have a little tour in a moment to show you what that all looks like. Um, but uh, also, I wanted to mainly do this video to tell you all about the uh, the changes that are going to happen to geekism. And hopefully, it won't be much. In fact, I'm re fingers crossed. If I didn't put this video out, you wouldn't have noticed. Uh, I'm trying my best to get some videos backdated and pre-recorded. We're going to do a bit of a look back to an earlier Anno game because the move coincides just with the uh, the launch of the new one. So I'm hoping once we're over there and settled and the PC is set up on the Canadian side, we'll just be in time for Anno 1800 going into full release. That's the plan. So beforehand, we're going to have a look at 1404, which a lot of people are saying is the up until now, the best one. So we're going to have a look at 1404 beforehand, and then also I'm hoping to do a bit of vlogging and stuff on the way uh, as we travel. The only other thing that may change is the release time of the videos. Purely from an analytical point of view, as far as a YouTube point of view, is there is an optimal time to release your videos. And currently, because the majority of my audience is from the UK, um, that is uh, the time there is 5pm GMT, so it's home time for people in the UK. Now, when I move to North America, and YouTube knows I'm in North America, it is going to start to favour me towards a North American audience and show me more to a North American audience. That's just how YouTube works. There's nothing I can do about that. It's just how the system works. Um, so for that reason, obviously, if you're from the UK, you'll still unsubscribe. You'll still get my videos and I'll still pop up in recommended more than likely. But for new viewers, I'm going to be uh, attacking a more of a North American market. And for that reason, uh, my upload times have to be sort of uh, primed to, for them. So it may well be that as far as the UK, UK is concerned, my videos come out a little bit later I'm guessing although it's still kind of all up in the air one thing I am going to try and do though is if I go back to streaming is try and keep the streaming times similar so they're going to be 
um, probably evenings for the UK because that worked quite well because that's going to be sort of like afternoons for the uh, for the majority of the of the uh, North America. Uh, other than that, I can't really see there being much difference. Although you know what, I'm moving a family and everything we own and a big old PC across the uh, across the Atlantic, so I'm going to keep you updated as best as I can. But hopefully, we'll be able to have a relatively smooth transition but the best thing you can do is obviously stay subscribed to the channel keep your eyes out for these logs that will be coming and also follow me on twitter if you don't already i'm at john t sparrow over there we're putting loads of updates on there as we go and also if you're not a member of the uh, the discord community i highly recommend you going over to discord and, uh, and joining on there as well we can chat and stuff as i move so as far as the videos are concerned uh, they're hopefully keep going but they will be pre-recorded so i'm not gonna be able to take any feedback on board but i will be in the comments chatting and stuff and we're gonna have some little fun games and stuff in the comments to do uh, because you know feed feedback on the game won't work so we've got some other ideas as well so keep tuning for them as well but other than that hopefully we'll do a, a vlog as we go um you'll have seen by now let's say uh, i'll just yeah, i'll show you quickly what we've got this is pretty much everything we own that's coming with us we're not taking any furniture or anything um because no, nothing really is of value enough to pay for the shipping so pretty much everything here is clothes um and just memories and keepsakes books video uh, not video videos because we're from the 80s uh, books um uh, pictures um, you know memories paperwork that we wanted to keep from you know school results and all things like that and toys and games for Xander and all of Xander's clothes and and then uh, just a few other things that are going to help us out when we first get there but this sort of stuff is going to be getting there after us this is going to get there probably about three or four weeks after us so it's nothing that we need straight away um, so the PC itself, uh, I'm just taking the tower, I'm going to rebuy monitors and things over there because they need a bit of an upgrade anyway. Um, but the PC itself is coming in a suitcase with me, so like I say, hopefully that sort of transition will only be about a week. Fingers crossed. Thank you so much for the continued support. We've just hit 45,000 subscribers, which is crazy. And don't get me wrong, I'd be going to Canada anyway, but the fact that this channel has grown and your incredibly generous support on things like Patreon and through watching the videos with ad revenue and everything has made the transition so much easier. Um, it really has, and I, I can't thank you all enough. And I hope uh, you continue to enjoy the channel and continue to sort of follow me as I uh, move on to hopefully bigger and better things. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.